Hello, I'm LaShawn, the care pastor at New Church. Welcome to the New Church Care Team. We are so glad to have you. Thank you so much for taking the time to view this online training session for Care Callers. Care Callers exist for several reasons. C, we're committed to loving God and loving you. A, awareness. We want to be aware of the needs of our church family. R, reach out. We want to reach out and connect with every member in the new church family. E, extend love, support, prayer, and a closer connection to all of our new church family. And this is where you come in. You are our first line of delivery. So care callers, gear up and get ready to connect. Most of us have called to check on a family member. And being a care caller, that's just what we're doing, checking on the family. Let's look at an example. Hello, Mason. This is Greg with the care team at New Church. I go to the 1015 morning service. I called to see how you're doing. I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing good. Has your family been okay? Yeah, they're good too. Cool. Is there anything we could be praying with you about? Now, there's so many ways this question will be answered. You may be new to some of the family that you're calling. Trust will not have been built. Or... They could just be having a really good month. Let's look at the common response and how you will handle it. Cool. Is there anything we could be praying with you about? No, really. We're doing good. Things are crazy, but, you know, it's just usual around here. Good. We're noting which service everyone is attending. Are you still going to the 1015 service? Yeah, every week. Cool. Adult volleyball is at the church this Friday. It's a good time. You guys ought to come and check it out. Yeah, we might just do that. Sounds, sounds like a good time. Okay. Well, I, hey, I gotta go, but if there's anything I can ever pray for you about, please just let me know. See, very simple. But what do you do if you get, actually, you could pray for my mom, my health, my job has been very stressful. Let's see how Greg handles it. Cool. Is there anything we could be praying with you about? Well, actually, uh, my mom's sick and she's had to move in with us so we could take care of her. Uh, if you could pray for me about that. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that, Mason. What's the doctor saying? Well, she's, she had surgery a couple weeks ago, and uh, she's on antibiotics, and they're finally kicking in, but we just don't want to have any setbacks. Ooh, an infection after surgery. Hey, I sure hope those antibiotics kick in pretty quick. Hey, listen, can I pray for you right now, or would you like me to pray for you later? Oh, man, later's fine. We're praying for her, too. Will do. Hey, is it okay if I add you to the pastor's prayer list? Sure. It's important to listen carefully and repeat back a summary of what was said. This helps you to be sure that you understand what they're saying and it lets them know that you're listening. Always make sure to ask, is it okay if I add you to the pastor's prayer list? This is what allows us to keep our pastors in tune with the family. At this point, something vital has just happened. When they share a prayer request for a need or battle in their life, they're trusting you to join with them in seeking God for that need and to remain confidential. Remember, confidentiality is key. Prove yourself in the smaller things and when they have a prayer request that needs to be referred to the support team, you'll find yourself a part of the amazing and miraculous job that God does. Let's watch Dana handle this critical care referral. Val, you don't seem yourself today. Is there something we can be praying about for you? Yeah. You know, Dana, we're not doing so good. I mean, Andy is a workaholic. And it's just like whenever he's home, he's not really home. He's People are blowing his phone up all the time. I, I, I can't get any time whatsoever with him. It's like being alone even when he's there. I mean, I might as well be alone. Marriage can be tough, Val. Sometimes husbands just forget about the whole spending time together and they don't really understand it. Um, they get focused on providing and um, working, but um, do you think we could pray right now? Hmm, yeah, I guess so. Father, we thank you for your love and your guidance. We thank you that you see Val and Andy and you're already working on healing this rift. Lord, please give Val patience and peace while, you're, while we're all waiting on your healing. And God, speak to Andy and Val. Give them guidance and draw them closer to you and to each other. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. 
You know, Val, we have some mentors for um, this specific need, people who have been through this and someone who could be a sounding board for you and just let you vent. Would it be okay if I gave Stacy your name? She'd keep it completely confidential. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a bad idea, but what about Andy? I mean, he needs help. Okay, let's get you set up with Stacy first, and then we'll have some prayer time about it and see if we can't get Andy a mentor too. Okay. Okay, great. Stacy will be in touch with you soon, and we'll see you at church. Okay, bye. Bye. You will get some tough ones. Some critical referrals that will make your heart pound, and you'll start a litany in your head, Lord God, help. Lord God, be present. When this happens, Listen carefully to what they're saying. Though your heart may pound and you might feel like you're having a panic attack, no shocked responses ever. Just like it would any of us, shocked responses may make them close up. Just like Dana, repeat back a summary of what they said and call them by name when you pray for them. Marriage can be tough, Val. Call them by name when you offer and promote a mentor. You know, Val, we have some mentors for um, this specific need. You also want to be specific with the name of the person who will be calling them. You'll have the list of mentors according to each support team area. Marriage Keepers, Children's Champions, Widow's Mites, Sound Singles, and Sizzling Seniors. Would it be okay if I gave Stacy your name? She'd keep it completely confidential. Dana has done well. She's connecting our family member in battle with another family member, and together they'll seek God and overcome. Wait, what if Val had said no? Just hang up. I'm kidding. If they say no, offer to add them to the pastor's prayer list. If they say no to even that. Let's see what Dana does. Would it be okay if I gave Stacy your name? She'd keep it completely confidential. No, I, I really don't want to talk to anybody else. It's okay. Um, would it be okay if I added you to the pastor's prayer list? No, I, I don't really like that idea either. Just, just never mind. It's okay, Val. You've got me. I'll be praying for you, and God will show himself faithful, and we'll get this figured out. And I'll keep praying. Okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. You may ask the support team for scriptures that help in the situation, but you may not disclose to anyone, not even the support team, who has the situation. As long as they are not hurting or planning to hurt anyone or themselves, they are counting on your confidentiality. They are trusting you. Proving yourself trustworthy may open them up to trusting a mentor later. If you have seniors on your list or some lengthy talkers, you might try this little line at the beginning of your call. Hi, Mrs. Wilson. This is Casey from New Church. I go to the second service. I have just a few minutes, but I wanted to call and see how you're doing. This statement may prepare them for a quick call. It will guide some of their minds towards shorter responses. It may not always work. Loneliness is a real factor for some of our seniors. Treat them kindly. They will be prime candidates for a new senior small group. Thank you again for your time and effort and for being family. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at lashawn at newchurch.tv. We love you. Pass it on.